I have the great pleasure and honor to be presenting this seminar to you. It's about the Zanum therapy. I think some of you are familiar with it, but will create a nice big structure from which we'll be able to see all that Zanum can do. What is it I want to present today? I'd like to tell you something about the Zanum Kielbeck company, about the basics of isopathy. I will explain the individual isopathics, the principle of the Zanum therapy, the individual immunobiologicals, the Zanu Kiels, and finally, I'll provide you with individual therapy concepts, which you'll be able to use as a basis for other illnesses as well. Now I'd like to tell you something about the core of Zanum, the isopathics. Before we can begin, we first need to explain what we mean by this and what has been the ingenious discovery of Professor Enderlein. In the view of general orthodox medicine, particularly in microbiology, with monomorphism a specific development of microorganisms is implied, meaning they can only be found in this one form, thus being single-shaped, the individual bacteria, viruses, fungi. This always presupposes a defined culture medium in which the microbes grow and they're generally taken from a sick organism and added to the culture plate or nutrient broth where they're cultivated and under the microscope they can then be microbiologically analyzed and identified. And with these microbes, in a healthy organism, animal, human, the same illness that the original patient suffered from can be reproduced. It doesn't have to be something pathological. This can be healthy germs. In any case, orthodox medicine microbiology assumes that microbes only exist in one form, a single growth habit on the plate or in the media, and also always shows the same infection behavior. You're familiar with the works of Robert Koch who was very active in this area and who created such criteria by which today's orthodox medicine conducts microbiological examinations. In complete opposition are the teachings of pleomorphism. Pleomorphism means many forms, which means germs can have different characteristics, different appearances, different growth habits, as well as a different metabolism. And a constant shape-shifting occurs due to adaption. And this is ultimately what is very, very important. A germ which is found in a body that could be identified on the culture plate as, let's say, Streptococcus, doesn't have to be pathogenic for the host at all. But it will only turn into a pathogenic germ if the milieu in which it grows, let's say my body, in which it spreads, if this environment is not in order, an increment is made energetically, so to speak, and suddenly it turns into a pathogenic germ. And the wonderful thing about this is that it's connected to the symbiotic cohabitation between macroorganism and microorganism. Since all of us, as we know, need bacteria, viruses and fungi in our body, just think about the plain example of what goes on in our gut. None of us could survive without bacteria. This is why the symbiosis is so important. It promises life because we receive so many valuable substances from the germs living in our body. We owe these insights to Professor Günther Enderlein, who admittedly wasn't the only one with the idea to think about pleomorphism, but rather many people of his time had this idea. But it was his earning that he collected all existing knowledge and then furthered this knowledge to the point that he realized that you could use this for a therapy. If you go at this smartly, you can therefore conjugate these pathologically developed forms downward again, as he called it. And he used this to develop just these remedies of the company Zanum. 
daraus eben diese Arzneimittel der Firma Sanum gemacht. You can see that he was a zoologist, a bacteriologist, a very meticulous scientist who not only ran a large laboratory, but after riding home on his bicycle, he still researched for hours until late at night. And we're in the fortunate position, all of us here, that we can benefit from this incredible inventive and pioneering spirit by really having just these products available to us today.